Hello and welcome to Hell with one L. This is a game I recently found on itch. And damn it's spooky. But this is one of the very, very, very rare scary games that I can actually play. It gives me the shivers, but I still I just I'm just sucked into it. I wanna keep looking at it and exploring it. And I keep playing, even though I am at the edge of my seat. I had extreme trouble orientating myself and for a while I thought I had read that it is actually procedurally generated and so it damn well looks. But in the end I realized it is actually linear if you want to consider it a game. The developer did say that they think it's totally okay to just consider it a walking simulator. Which is what I thought it was at first. This is probably way too dark, but the atmosphere is just perfect. I am reminded so much of Thief, the scary levels in that game. Minus the annoying zombies though. And I was curious enough to actually finish it. At least I think that that's what I did. So, after a while I realized there are these houses. And you can try to get inside, but you can't get really get in. The door is somehow locked. And then, after a while I noticed that there is this one tower, which does not appear another time, so... Of course you are drawn to it, and so I went there, and there is this little thing you can interact with, and then you have this text, so let's read that. My mother brought nothing but sorrow to the world, a giantess cold and distant. And I can't really understand, I couldn't really figure out, I can keep interacting with this one thing. I have now a key on the right bottom and some wavy thing and slots on the bottom left. The tower doesn't do anything. So I decided to keep exploring. Maybe I can open the doors now. And it turns out I could, after a lot of walking around. found a door and it let me through. And here comes the jump scare. But it is a very mild one. Well, until you start clicking it and this thing starts screaming at jeez. So apparently you torture it somehow. You just keep clicking it. Will no one light a fire? said the text and then there's another of these buttons and it gives you it fills one of these slots apparently and also the key has an symbol now and there is a there is a thing in the middle of a room that looks like it could be lit but i couldn't figure that out so off i go to the next building of course But this door I end up not being able to open. So I keep searching. And while I do so, let me read out from the description page. Hell can be played as an atmospheric walking sim set in a grim and eerie underworld, or you can try to discover the mysteries of Hellenheim and find a secret mechanic to escape to a better afterlife. The question is, does a better fate make you a better person? Another door that will let me through. Another soul, perhaps, that we... 
so cold. What do we even do with it? It seems like we are harvesting. So off we go to the next one. Explore the shifting and spectral city of Helenheim in this procedurally generated Norse afterlife. Ah, there it is. Well, the developer themselves say it's procedurally generated. Let's interact with this one as well. Oh, the screams, how they torture us. And at the bottom left we see a progress bar. So, we're making progress, I guess? They laid me under cold stone. Oh, and this, this soul gave us the button. I mean, the filled one slot. So yeah, we are clearly collecting remains. So another text from the description page. In Norse mythology, Hel was the name of both the goddess and the place that she ruled over. When a human died, they could end up in one of three places to dwell until the end of the world. People who had a noble death either went to Valhalla or to Folkvangar. Those whose lives and deaths were dishonorable, pitiful or even just unremarkable traveled to Helenheim. Thus, Hel was the afterlife for people who died of disease or frailty. Interesting. I'll continue after we finish this interaction. He said he would come for me. After a while I find another obelisk. My brothers grew up craving destruction, a wolf and a serpent bent on ending it all. But let us continue from the text. As I was saying, thus hell was the afterlife for people who died of disease and or frailty. In other words, it was for the wives and mothers, the elderly, infants and disabled people just as much as it was for cravens and criminals. Was that fair? Maybe not, but the afterlife is what you make of it. And just moments ago, you could see an obelisk flying in the air. I'm sure that was a bug. I'm sure it was. And here's another door we cannot pass through. And I, I have not figured out the logic of that, unfortunately. But eventually we find another door to go through. This will be a bit different. Oh boy. I wonder, are we helping? Are we torturing? Eternal beer and wenches for the menfolk. Wailing and mist for me. I spend a lot of time trying to find the next place to harvest and found another obelisk. My father, my father was the final joke. A care for everything and nothing. This architecture is so identical everywhere. After a while of wandering around I went back to the center and there was another obelisk or the same to use. The old father alone took pity on me and gave me my grim purpose. I don't understand but I will take it and I will continue to try to find a door to open. Nearly 30 minutes it took me for the entire game because I just lost my way all the time and I could not recognize or remember the places. But I think it was worth it. Another obelisk. If you would leave Allenheim, 
prove you are a warrior yet. Huh. Does this have multiple endings? The second to last soul to collect. This one will not burn. Maybe that is good. No one will ever sing of my deeds. This game, it might be a retrospect complaint about injustice, perhaps a feminist homage. Like, why was it a woman that had to wash the feet of Jesus Christ? But this is getting a bit off track. Finally, I find what seems to be the final house. And this one burns. So let me help you. Here is nothing but hatred and agony. I don't think I'm getting these texts very much. And now I can enter here. This one will be different. Be warned. No screaming anymore. As if it was to embrace... Oh, okay. I never did lust for glory. Not sure what to make of this. And look. There's another obelisk hanging in the air. Finally, I cannot think of anything but to return to the tower. And another obelisk is ready. Where the souls you reap as they will be the seeds of your next life. So cold. They lay, they laid me under cold stone. He said he would come for me. Eternal beer and wenches for the menfolk wailing and mist for me. No one will ever sing of my deeds. Here is nothing but hatred and agony. I never did lust for glory. And with this the game just ends and closes. Well, let me know in the comments what you thought of this. You can play it for free of course, it's available for Windows. Might be a bit hard on the requirements. Unreal Engine 4. Please like and subscribe if you haven't yet, and see you in the next video. Ciao!